Hello everyone, my name is Shikara, and today I'll explain the Nova Cup and how to participate step by step. Thanks to Seto Kaiba for letting me borrow his awesome voice as I'm sick right now and don't want to talk. Let's begin. You may be asking yourself, what is the Nova Cup? The Nova Cup is a Legion TD2 tournament which is held at the end of each month. Each participating player gets placed into five different skill divisions, which means that players of all ratings can participate and win inside their respective division. Depending on the division, you can earn different prizes, starting with in-game premium currency in the lower divisions and real money prizes in the higher divisions. Take a look into the description, and there you can see the main page with all the explanations. How do I sign up? To sign up for the Nova Cup, you should join the official Nova Discord. Please look for the second link in the description and find the hashtag announcements channel, which will tell you when the Nova Cup will take place. Usually it is announced one week before the actual cup. When the announcement is made, you'll want to launch your game, go into a party with the respective player that you want to take part with, and then type into the global chat slash sign up team name. Take note that sign up is one word, and in this case, you'll see that I'm using sample team name as our team name. If everything goes well, you'll receive a message that your team name was successfully created. As a side note, you can also solo sign up if you don't have a pre-made. You'll get randomly matched up to another teammate inside your ELO range. To solo sign up, first make sure you are not in a party, then type slash sign up your name. For instance, if I wanted to solo sign up, I had to type slash sign up Shikara. And now for the day of the cup. On the day when the Nova Cup takes place, there will be a message inside the announcement channel which will inform you that check-ins are open. The check-in usually starts about one hour before the official start. As soon as check-ins are open, find the check-in channel and use the bot template that appears when you type slash check-in. Thanks, nerd! you will get a confirmation message that your team got checked in. Important note, only main accounts are allowed to take part. Signing in with any Smurf account can lead to disqualification for this and future Nova Cups. Now you will have to wait until the different divisions are built. Let's go through the differences between those. There are five different divisions. The first division and the second consist of eight teams and both offer real money rewards. In Division 1, the first and second place team are rewarded with a real money prize. In Division 2, only the first team is rewarded. For Divisions 3 to 5, the amount of teams can vary. In most cases, each division consists of 16 teams and each winner can earn a premium essence reward where the amount of premium essence scales up respectively from Divisions 5 to 3. Allow me to explain how the matches work. You will face off against other teams, which are all decided in a best of three. Best of three means that the first team to achieve two victories wins the matchup. Depending on the outcome of each individual match, you will play two to three games per matchup. Only the final consists of a best of five, which is achieved by the team that achieves three victories in total. There are different rules for divisions one and two contrary to divisions three to five. In Division 1 and 2, for each match, you will only be allowed to use each Mastermind once for your team on a win. This implies that you may not both take the same Mastermind. Once you win a matchup, this determines that these two Masterminds are banned for the rest of the matchup for your team. Groups 1 and 2 are also made up with a winner and a loser bracket. If a team loses once in another matchup, there is still the possibility to win the cup. Contrary to that, Divisions 3 to 5 do not have mastermind restrictions. Here, each team member can play any mastermind on each match without restriction. Also, these divisions only play in one tournament tree with single eliminations. This means that a team which loses one of its best of threes is automatically eliminated from this cup. Finally, let's get back to our Nova Cup that takes place at any moment. As soon as the divisions are built, you head into the Discord channel team list and click the link. Here you can see a list of all teams that signed up in the corresponding division that they got put into. Find your division, and go back to the Discord and open the Choose Your Division channel. At the bottom of the message, you want to select the division you got matched into. 
In this example video, we got put into Division 3. After you have selected your division, you will see a new channel opened up in Discord. Here you will wait for the start permission from the tournament director. Thanks, nerd. When you have permission to begin, you want to take a look at the bracket. Find your team and the enemy team, and take a look back at the division list. Here you can spot the names of the players that you are matched against. Now, the higher rated team will create the lobby and invite the other team. If you are in the lower rated team, wait until you get invited or try to communicate in your division chat. It is very important that for each player match, the tournament mode is activated. This ensures that each match is restricted to ranked only masterminds. This unlocks any ranked masterminds that may not have been unlocked, ensuring that non-ranked masterminds are also locked. After the lobby is created and each player is present, ask each player if they are ready. And as soon as everyone responds, start your game. Good luck and have fun. And if you find that anything accidentally goes wrong, like tournament mode is missing, make sure you type dash FF to forfeit the match before wave one ends. This way the match is declared void and the game will be restarted. Abusing this for any other reasons can lead to disqualification for the offending team. Victory. After your matches have finished, the winning team will go back into Discord, and in this example, the Division 3 results channel, and post the results. Using the command slash results with the name of the winning team, the winning team score, and the losing team score. You should see a confirmation of your input. Now if you take a look at the tournament tree, you will see that it shows your next matchup. Here, the process repeats from the beginning, and as always, the higher seed invites the lower elo seed. Depending on the division and size conditions, two to three matchups can take place per day. After that, the semifinalists have to wait for the next day. Here again you will receive a message for the check-in start. The check-in process this time takes place in your division channel. Head into there and type slash check in team name your team name the process from yesterday repeats wait for the message and be allowed to start your games and continue the same way as yesterday good luck and have fun i hope you win and after the finals take place the winning team will usually receive a message in the discord division channel and their cup rewards on the next day nevertheless each participant of any division will obtain one free card I hope this video helped you get a deeper insight. Thanks for watching, and see you back in LTD2.